Susan Somerville. I'm the program coordinator for food and nutrition management here at Humber College. And uh, it's a relatively new program. We started uh, three years ago uh, as a, an advanced diploma and now uh, students can come into our program right out of high school or from industry. So we have uh, a really nice large group this year of uh, 72 students. And uh, we have students interested in all parts of nutrition. So some students want to, you know, teach nutrition um, to uh, residents in nursing homes and help manage nursing homes. And other students might want to work in product development for a company. So there's so many opportunities for students. Um, and the main thing is that uh, you need a knowledge of both food and nutrition. So uh, you need to learn about food, you need to work in the lab and learn how to create food that tastes good but it's but it's healthy, it has good fat profiles, it's low in added sugars, it's got lots of healthy fiber. Uh, so we're looking um, at gaining that experience, how to cook real good delicious food that's healthy. <music> Welcome to the Food Science Lab. This course is part of the Nutrition Food and Management Program and we modify ingredients. What does that mean? We don't just mush up things and have textured food. We also look at different flours. We talk about gluten, we talk about omegas. We take simple products and we take complex products and we modify them to meet vegetarian diets, to meet vegan diets and also to open up your mind to the possibilities of working in other areas besides just restaurants. We'd really love it if you would join me. Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm currently a student in the nutrition program second year. I branched in from culinary management, so it's really cool to see the difference from learning about all the basic cooking to just nutritional cooking. So some of the things I was able to learn this year in a food science lab class, uh, replacing ingredients such as replacing an egg, it's as simple as just mixing flaxseed and water and that would be perfect for someone that's uh, vegan, they don't eat eggs, or um, someone that's dairy, or someone that is dairy um, and they can't eat milk, you can replace it with like soy fortified products. So it was really cool learning about that kind of stuff and how it works out and how the product is in the end and the different like textures and stuff. So overall, that's kind of what I learned this year and it was definitely a new experience. David, uh, I'm a student in the Food and Nutrition Management program, second year. Uh, I branched in from culinary management and it's very interesting seeing the difference because culinary management focused a lot on a la carte cooking, uh, prepping your work in restaurants or hotels, but this program looks at the food service in hospital and long-term care settings. So the food science lab focuses a lot on sort of the diets you're going to have to deal with in these settings. So for example, one of our classes we looked at food and free meals. Um, and we made black bean brownies, which I thought would be disgusting. And um, I ended up loving them more than any brownies I've ever made. I'll probably never make them the same way again. So it's very interesting trying out different things and seeing how they work. So this year in the food science lab, we got to take our practical classes and actually use them in the lab and see how people with diverticulitis need to eat and people with gluten-free need to eat and got to use recipes to use ingredients that you never thought would belong in those dishes. And it actually turned out quite good. So I originally 
took fitness and health promotion before I came into this program. And actually before I came in here, I had zero experience in the kitchen, but luckily the instructors and the lab portion of the class was at a level that I could learn quickly and uh, work on the same level as some of the culinary students. So I don't have a background in culinary, but this um, course was really great because I got to uh, learn a lot of practical skills, um, basic cooking skills, and also um, how to make it healthy. So we got to analyze the nutrition for the recipes we were making, and I found that really beneficial for my learning. Um, I bridged in from culinary management and um, the food nutrition program really opened up the doors into where I'd want to go after working in a hotel or a restaurant. Um, you, can go work in, you can go work in a hospital or a long-term care setting. Um, it also opened my eyes up to working perhaps in um, product development, so that's some benefits.